this is Dr. Martin David Jones at Augusta University, and we're gonna be talking ear training today, and we're gonna be focusing on hearing and identifying seventh chords. So to review, uh, there's five seventh chords that I wanna focus on. First of all, we have the dominant seventh, which is a major triad with a minor seventh. The major seventh, which is a major triad with a major seventh. The minor seventh chord, which is a minor triad and a minor seventh. The diminished seventh chord, which is a diminished triad plus a diminished seventh. And finally, the half diminished seventh chord, which is a diminished triad with a minor seventh. Okay, so going over here, I like to use solfege as a way of hearing these and being able to identify them. So let's start out with the major seventh chord. If I build it on C, that'd be a C major seventh, major triad plus a major seventh. Now what I'm gonna write in here is the solfege. So if I'm in C, that would be C, excuse me, that'd be Do, Mi, Sol, T. And it would sound like this. Do, Mi, Sol, T. And that gets that characteristic major seven sound. Now for the minor, that would be C, E flat, G, B flat. So a minor triad plus a minor seventh. And we would do the solfege as Do, Me. Sol, te. Do, me, sol, te. Okay, then um, for the diminished seventh, I'm gonna build this uh, on the note B, so I get the diminished seventh in the key of C major. Uh, B, D, F, this is my uh, diminished triad, and the diminished seventh on top would be A flat. So we would label that as T, Re, Fa, Le. And that would sound like this. Ti, Re, Fa, Le. Then for the half diminished seventh, um, very similar chord, B, D, F, and then A natural. I'll put a little courtesy here, but I did do the bar line. Anyway, so just let you know it's A natural, and there you get Ti, Re, Fa, La. And last but not least, the one you're probably most familiar with, which is the dominant seventh. We'll build it on G for a G7. G, B, D, F. Sol, T, Re, Fa. Sol, T, Re, Fa. Sol, T, Re, Fa. Okay, good. Now that you have the way of identifying it, let's just practice on a few of them. And I'm going to have my trusty cameraman follow me to the piano here. And let's talk one through. So I'm going to play this chord here. Again. So what you would try to do is identify first what type of triad. Is it major? Is it minor? Is it diminished? Well, I'll tell you, we hear major here. Do, mi, so, and then listen to the last note. If you hear T, you'd be correct, and that would be a major seventh. Do, mi, so, T. Okay, let's do another one. So, first thing you want to do, identify, do you think it's more major or minor or diminished? Well, I'll tell you that. See if you can hear the minorness of it. Do, mi, sol, and then the top note, te, do, mi, sol, te, and that would be a minor seventh chord. Next, um, here's another chord. So, what does that chord sound like? If you listen for the initial triad, do, minor triads don't work, then maybe it's diminished. T, Re, Fa, Le. And when you hear the Le, you think, aha, I hear the fully diminished seventh. That would be a diminished seventh. One more time. Diminished seventh. Okay. Now keeping that same bass. You can hear the difference there. Mm, I hear the diminished. more to go. 
here. And this is one that the class usually is pretty good at by the time I get to this point, but if you can hear the soul, you would know that that's the dominant seventh. Okay? A couple of tricks here to remember. When you hear something and it reminds you of the dramatic quality of, of a silent movie, you can almost always know that that'll be fully diminished. If you hear, if you hear this chord and it reminds you of the Tristan chord, that would be half diminished. Also, no, um, I'll quickly talk about the major seventh is very much a pop sounding chord. It works very well in pop music, as is the minor seventh. One more thing I didn't, uh, I, I want to mention uh, something I like to talk about in class, which is uh, Barry Manilow's famous song, The Copacabana. So that, at the Copa, well, he's using a lot of different seventh chords actually. At the Copa. Which is a minor seventh. Dominant seventh. Major seventh. You hear the half diminished. Another dominant. Minor seventh. But you notice very striking minor seventh at the beginning of that song. That's a typical minor seventh. against here. So these were ways of hearing and identifying seventh chords. Dr. Jones, out.